Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Little France. Uh, well, today I think we have to take a big break from Limoges. Uh, when I say Limoges, it's because we built quite a lot of stuff from there, uh, as you can remember, as in, as co of course, as you can see in this cinematic here. And uh, we did the train stations, the uh, road system around the train station with the bus depot and whatnot. But we need to get back in Paris for today. And the reason why we're doing this is, if you do remember, we built this big library, uh, Bibliothèque François Mitterrand. The, the, the train station from Limoges was built right next to it, like around here. Instead of having this one, we built that train station from Limoges. So I was thinking, why not continuing with uh, this train station a bit? Uh, so I will do the uh, rail yards and some stuff that can be found here. So in today's uh, build, uh, we are going to do these kind of things from here. So it's a rail yard system here, uh, some other buildings, uh, the bridge itself and lots of little details here and there around this area, particular area. Um, to have a better view and uh, on the map, it's like, like this. So this is Library François Mitterrand, this is the uh, Limoges train station and this is what you're going to see today, this entire build from here, which is really cool and uh, trust me, no regrets. Uh, lots of PO, of course, <laughs> but hey, it is what it is because it's beautiful. Now, I've turned those roads into a bridge because uh, I need to have a bridge there so I can put my train tracks right under it. Uh, and then I continue doing the sides of this, let's say, rail yard because uh, I need to continue adding keys and then some terraforming uh, networks in order to make the flat the terrain super flat right next to these keys to make them look beautiful. And then I, I, I had to use some of Revo's uh, big train depots and uh, whatnot. Because if you look here on Google Earth, we have this interesting building right next to the rail yard, which will be a crazy one and beautiful. And I'll have to fill in the area from here with different buildings than what you can see here. I'll try keep it in the same area, but no. It, I, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna give my own touch for this uh, and not leave it as it is. Uh, we will do this building as well. And as you can see here, I actually use this one, this building uh, which is made by, by Revo. And I plopped it right next to, to this uh, rail yard. And as I was mentioning here, the entire area is being, uh, let's say, surrounded by, with this key. It's a key and then we have here a terraforming network to just make the terrain as flat as possible. Even though, take into consideration the fact that here we have an elevation and then the train tracks go right pretty down. Actually, if you look, uh, there is a slope, a pretty, pretty big slope from here. Well, not that big, but it is a slope. Now there, in between these train tracks, there is a tunnel going, well, of course, under the entire infrastructure around here. So I was thinking, hey, I want to do that too. Uh, the only thing I, I thought of at the beginning, at least, was to use some of others, uh, uh, the, the Rivo's depots. But then I re remember that some of these train tracks, when you turn them into a proper tunnel, um, they create a nice uh, shape, uh, concrete entrance, like it's in real life. So I used those and on the on this side here, I used other uh, train depots and uh, make it look pretty interesting right next to the train tracks. Plus here in front, there is a roof. I don't know what's the purpose of that roof to be super honest with you. I'm not sure if cars can actually do drive it on top of it or, or, or something because if you look here I don't know what's the what's the purpose of this roof honestly here it's it's this one that I just made uh, right now I made those three entrances in depots I don't know what is supposed to be here I can't get on the street level or something to see it better so I have no clue this one does look like a roof where cars can drive or you can actually go from here to here but this one totally no idea what's its purpose i can actually do see that one of the train tracks goes through this depot building whatever that is 
And these are this is the that tunnel that I was telling you about earlier, uh, which it's it, lo it looks like this in the end uh, after I turn it into a proper um, tunnel. And these are those uh, train depots, you know. Now having to uh, we have to finish this entrance here, and I'm adding some retaining walls uh, on both sides of the train tracks. Uh, because otherwise it, it will look very ugly so we need to make it look properly like that going into a tunnel and those roofs that I was telling you that I have no clue what they are for uh, I, I'm gonna finish them by adding some metal beams on top of them uh, some uh, concrete pillars to support these metal beams on both sides of course and then uh, on, on this big side right uh, on the side where the library is I'm adding of course some concrete uh, I'll have to add here like a bunch of uh, different props to make it look like in real life like they are working on this is a construction site they are renovating something re rebuilding something or, or so uh, I've been using these ones these are Revo's um, props for the turntable if I'm not mistaken or for something like that so I of course I turn them into a procedural object and make that looking type of a roof uh, to cross on the other side of um, the building roof I don't know I, I, I felt it, it will fit perfectly there now coming on this side of the bridge uh, there is this um, building actually it's a, uh, there are many buildings and there, the train tracks uh, in some cases go right under the train uh, the, the buildings uh, here and um, I wanted to, to replicate this one I made only one building I didn't make all those buildings that are there in real life uh, I was thinking if I should do that or should I keep only one um, for many reasons and one of the, them is that I otherwise I have to sunk a bit more the train tracks in uh, uh, when it gets very close to the train station that we have there uh, I will also show you very soon to understand it better what I mean by that I'm covering the entrance with the same type of retaining walls which are actually one of the best uh, retaining walls out there if you ask me uh, they are concrete they look like dirty uh, there are uh, it's a pack actually full of these uh, type of walls retaining walls and keys not only retaining walls and yeah for me they are kind of uh, uh, I'm gonna use them quite a lot in the next um, in lots of my builds I've tried to add the metal beams but I didn't felt it's properly done so I, I went for a concrete uh, um, beam there uh, I will use that one I will even uh, mm, of course turn it into procedure objects and I will try to match the same uh, height with the retaining walls so people cannot fall from from there now this is the building that I you just saw me doing right now but right next to it it's a multitude of buildings too many actually and I believe the trains are gone are going through underneath uh, these all these train uh, uh, these buildings from here which is not the case for me because this is what uh, I was telling you if we go and make more here at the same level the train tracks here are quite high and then they will hit the top of the building I know I can sunk them but I don't want to do that so there is like two things I can do either keep it as it is or add only one more building around here but I think I'm gonna keep it as is because I see really no reason why continuing and adding more of this then um I had to do something with the intersection there because they are like four intersections and I'm gonna change that middle side into a roundabout which will be in my opinion of oval boat that's how I like to call it uh, due to these strange roads well not, the roads are not strange no they look fine but I cannot use even the uh, traffic lights uh, to make them work properly they simply the car simply don't care so I'm trying to add <laughs> I'm trying to add some traffic lights but they are not going to work properly so 
I'll have to use the let's say roundabout uh, most or le more or less um, the roundabout um, functionality let's call it so yeah unfortunately uh, it didn't went out as bad as much as I wanted to to to, to get out uh, to not to get out to to make it uh, work properly so yeah it is what it is unfortunately uh, now let's start with the detailing now I'm detailing uh, a lot the um, area right next to the train uh, yard there uh, lots as, I, as you saw in on Google Earth there are lots of props like these like metal beams concrete everything uh, that you can find in a construction site uh, so I'm just propping randomly different type of uh, uh, materials like these ones uh, a crane uh, some pipes anything to make it look let's say more realistic from different uh, points of view I will also um, again uh, those roofs I'm not sure if someone is from living in pra Paris and I don't maybe pass by near this area do pre please do let me know what do you think it's there what do you think is the purpose of those roofs from there some of them as I said they look like you can actually drive or pass on them uh, to the other side but there is that big uh, roof which um, I made the, the gray, gray one uh, that one is for sure not not for this purpose it has a different purpose I, I, I think um, so yeah this is um, uh, how I let's say approach this kind of uh, this construction site I found these uh, interesting metal beams here uh, uh, they are made for one of the of Rivo's depots and I'll just add them there on the roofs not because they have to be there just because they will use them for something else with the cranes they will pull uh, pull them up and place them somewhere else God knows they got there by the trains because I'm also I will add a train there with some empty uh, trailers and you can I will add these kind of metal beams on top of those uh, empty trailers and adding again lots of uh, lots of props make it uh, let's say as much as possible realistic right um, it's minute 13 already uh, and we haven't used the hashtag so uh, let's think of this um, everyone who's still here with me guys you know the drill the game I like to play uh, let's go for an, a new hashtag today and that should be uh, hashtag railyard yes hashtag railyard um, so you can leave a comment you can leave this uh, hashtag together with your comment if you uh, have something to say about this if you do like enjoy this uh, build please do let me know uh, I saw some comments on the previous episode uh, where you guys were uh, mentioning what else uh, I can what other type of builds I can uh, I can do here in Little France uh, I saw that some of you really want to see some low density uh, residential buildings and I'm gonna do that and uh, by the way <laughs> for maybe you guys already know I'm I'm using some mods like <clears throat> no problems mods which actually uh, hides all the problems right I wish these kind of things uh, uh, works in real life too uh, but I so all buildings work of course but you don't see the, the, the in-game icons saying they have issues or problems or they don't work properly and as soon as I I was like hey let me check if actually we can have I can get rid of that mode and as soon as I did that it was saying like people are not uh, uh, there are not enough workers there are not enough uh, goods for commercial areas and whatnot so I was like okay I need to make an industrial area so I started building somewhere uh, far away from the city an industrial area to create some goods to have some goods so these goods can be provided inside the city and this way I was hoping I will have more traffic I know most of you guys are uh, not fans of traffic in the city but I you know you know me I love traffic I love fixing traffic I love watching the traffic flow or not because in real life it's not flowing like perfectly 
So yes, I'm working on doing some industrial area. Of course, I'm not going to show it because it will be a vanilla area, but I just wanted to have it there to have things work properly, working properly here in uh, Little France. Uh, continuing with what I'm doing here, I added some buildings uh, because I felt uh, they look, let's say, more or less similar to the ones in real life in the same corner. And I'm adding uh, some parking lots, uh, lots of decals on the road, like uh, the, the road is a bit damaged and whatnot. A uh, few trees to to give a, a bit of life. In real life, it's not that much of concrete everywhere. Uh, and I know I'm covering quite a lot of areas with concrete only. I should go a bit more greener, if you ask me. Uh, but uh, in some cases this is not perfectly um, let's say working uh, okay so we are getting uh, in the last three minutes of this uh, time-lapse video uh, as already you know uh, there will be a uh, cinematic at the end of uh, there will be some cinematics at the end of this um, uh, time-lapse video of course so you guys can watch properly uh, what's going on what happened here <laughs> right uh, usually during these time lapses uh, you can't see everything perf perfectly so these kind of things can be seen at the end of the um, cinematic uh, the time lapse sorry and uh, this is the last touch I'm gonna do here I'm uh, going to use a different building uh, this is made by beer monkey it's a train station from I forgot the city anyways and I I turned it into a procedural object uh, object and um, I just plopped them a few times to make it like a big building not one building and <clears throat> and I make it I, I re replicate the building that's there in real life too and then I had to link it with a road and I, I felt like I want to go with a road like this one goes underneath the bridge and gets on the other side and it will be let's say surrounded by some uh, retaining walls in real life it's not like that there but I want to have it there I want to make it like this and uh, not have it uh, otherwise so yeah some a bit a bit of a uh, ski with such it's always worth it <laughs> to some of the buildings right I hope you guys say yes um, so in the next episode, I have no clue right now what I'm going to do. I have this episode for quite some time. I barely have time to create, uh, to make this commentary. It took a lot of time working on Skylines Invicta. So guys, I really highly, super mega advise you to go watch the Skylines Invicta collaboration series with between me and uh, City Walk City Wall together with Templin Institute. You should watch it because it has an amazing story, some really good builds that we try to pull out there it's a science fictional series but trust me i am not a fan of uh, science fiction things uh, but trust me i loved working on it it is totally worth it so you can find two episodes actually well it's one episode but it, it's one with a story which is on city walk city walls uh, channel youtube channel and the other one with uh, the behind the scenes which is on my channel and then you can go and check out the Stellaris Invicta series uh, which is uh, the sister series uh, linked to our series here uh, that's available on uh, Templin Institute YouTube channel that being said guys thank you so very much for watching take care of yourselves uh, leave a like subscribe if you do enjoy this and see you in the next one I salute you.